Hello, my most amazing artists. Let's take a few minutes and look at this fun and unique artist, James Rizzi. Just take a look at his pictures. What do you notice about them that's different than any normal city scene you're used to looking at? Now that we've talked about James Rizzi's work, let's start our project. I'm going to use an oil pastel, but I would encourage you to start with a pencil first and then trace with oil pastel. So I'm adding a border because on one of the first pictures I showed you, he had a border with hearts in it, and I just kind of liked that. You do not have to add a border, but I thought it might be interesting on mine. I'm going to add polka dots on there. One thing about James Rizzi's work is that it's very childlike and he uses a lot of just basic shapes and lines and lots of bold colors. And so just have fun adding a lot of detail. His work always has a ton of detail. So think about how you can use lines and shapes that are just basic to create lots of detail. Next, I'm going to add my buildings. I need to decide if I want to have the traditional landscape, which is what I'm doing. My paper is sideways or horizontal. Or do I want my paper to be vertical? You choose, you're the artist, and I'm gonna start drawing buildings. Now, one thing we talked about was that James Rizzi adds faces on his buildings. So, you're gonna add lots of buildings, and you're gonna add some funny faces onto your buildings, because that's what James Rizzi does. And you're the artist, you can add them however you like, but you're going to bring life and personality to your project by adding faces. You can add big faces, small faces, but think about eyes, nose, and a mouth. Think about expression. Give your buildings some expression. So now just fill up your paper with lots of details, lots of buildings. Think about having a sky, windows, faces on your buildings. Really get creative. Use lines use shapes. We are going to paint this next week, so we'll be using the element of art color next week when we paint these. Remember, you can start with a pencil and lay everything out the way that you like it, and then trace with the oil pastel. You want to be careful not to smudge the black oil pastel everywhere. It will get everywhere if you run your hand through it, so don't smudge it. Add lots and lots and lots and lots of detail and then trace with black and you will be finished for today. These do not have paint or anything on them, so they will go in your pencil caddy and have a lot of fun.